at Star Island or B1. I would have thought we had gotten this blue choo-choo, but apparently we didn't. If we didn't, then I'm going to have to pull the episode. Where is he? Blue choo-choo. I believe he's under a rock. Okay, that, that would make sense. Can I... Oh, I can just pick it up. Is he under this one? There he is. <laughs> Killed him anyway. <laughs> so, on B1, here, there's the first blue choo-choo of the episode. Hey guys and gals! Oh wait, that's uh, we're not doing the intro yet. On, <laughs> sorry, those noises kind of messed me up. Where were we? Oh yeah, we're getting blue choo choos. Um, <laughs> um, we're here on. Oh come on, here we're. Let's see, the, we're at this island. This is Crescent Island, and actually, you know what? Blue choo choo number one. Yes, there are actually two on this island, which is pretty cool. And we got both of them. Yay! <laughs> Are you high? No. At C2, or Spectacle Isle, we're going to make a spectacle of ourselves by not doing the fun time thing. Where is this blue choo-choo? Where is he? Down See, I by thought that sign? It's probably down here. Maybe. No? Is he on the beach? Because we were all over this island. Oh, there he is. That's clever. Hello, Blue Choo Choo. I will not kill you. I will be nice. Goodbye. <laughs> hey! On! Uh, wrong menu. On B3 or Rock Spire Island. Do I really need to say what's on this island? Because you know what we're doing at this point. There you go. The other ones I spared the lives of. This one, I didn't. On C6, Shark Island. Dang, 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 dang. Do, 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 do. Get on the thing. Do, 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 where is it? I believe we have to use that vortex over there to get up on top of the Okay, well, we'll clear this real quick. Most of this episode's going to be cutting anyway, so this will be short. <gasps> <laughs> Those sound effects are bad. Also, I love how all this is taking place before the actual intro. Ooh. Well, that's fine. Baddies? Oh, hi. Just you? Really? Oh, hi. You too? Hello? I don't get where the challenge is here. Uh, are you guys supposed to be harming me? I don't you took get it. Some damage. I you took failed. a quarter damage. Oh no. The mini blends have done more damage to me than the Baka blends. Get some distance and do hurricane spin. There's a dark nut. There's a guy. Oh no. Stun him with your boomerang. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, you you box. You be uh, Bruce Lee. Bruce. Eh? Me. There we go. Hit me, please. Thank you. Are you guys all done? All tuckered out? Wow. There are a lot of enemies here. How you, that didn't hit me, I don't know. Okay, you, hello. Oh man, they're ever they're pulling out all the stops. Snap. Come on. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Okay, you can die. And you can die. I kind of have a thing against targeting. And I kind of just want to face tank all this. 
Thank you for coming and dying. Man, they are seriously pulling out all the stops. Do you see all the, the all the craziness going down here? Mm-hmm. That's uh, this is cool. It's like a bar fight. Yeah, it's like a mariachi band. The Savage Labyrinth would be so much more fun if it was like this. Like a bar fight? Yes. Oh wow. That actually did damage. Come here, die. Okay, now you. I juked it! No, 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 no. Oh, it's the stupid mini blend thing again. Where they're like, hey, I heard you liked mini blends. How would you like to have as many as you want? Uh, uh. Got him once. I need 360 no scope this fool. Yes! Okay. You two, back to dying. Where, when does this end? Do you see this? They're still going. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Where? Die. Yeah, there we go. Is that the last one? Oh. No. <laughs> Game. <laughs> I, we, I get the hint. You like giving me enemies. That's that's enough. I'm done. You have nothing more to challenge me with. <laughs> oh my word. Die, Batman. There we go. That's how it should have done, gone down the first time. That was weird. So you said this item is useful to us. It is, if it's oh what my goodness, it says like, in the book. It's probably just a rupee. Or, okay. That wasn't worth it. Well, there we go. Let's leave. Alright, now, now that that distraction is done, we'll jump here. And make it right. Uh huh. I'm trusting Nova on this. Oh man, that's that's more than enough. Okay, so that that's how we make it over here, and our reward for completing that is a blue choo choo. Kind of interesting how, you know, our reward is that. Oh no! <gasps> oh. See, if you hit them with your oh. sword when they first appear, like the instant they appear. Oh. You won't get zapped. Yeah, I know. Okay. Now, onward to the next one. Man, that was a trial. Blue Choo Choo. Actually, I don't think we got this. No, we didn't. Wow. We were here. We got that chest, and we are two feet away from it. And it's here. Cliff Plateau Isles. You have to go up through the cave down there. That's the only way you can't, you can't hook shut up to these trees. In F7, Boating Course, which is an island that we will be getting to a little bit later, you can hookshot onto the goal post. And is it in the cave? What did it say about the cave? Oh, it's right here. There is no mention of the cave right okay, here. Okay, I'll check it out real quick. I'll cut out if it's unnecessary. Yes, you, you. That was easy. I don't think they were on a timer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was really easy. I'm guessing there's no other treasure in here because they don't t typically do that. But wow, that was simple. Da -ba -da -da. Oh, we got the submarine chart. That's useful. Okay. Uh, there's actually a secret cavern chart somewhere around here, too. What? Yeah. In fact, I think we already have it. You, you have to get a treasure chart. I believe it's treasure chart 13 to get the secret cavern chart. <laughs> Hello, potion seller. I'm going into battle soon, and I need your strongest potions. You can't have my potions. They're too strong for you, traveler. But you don't understand. I'm going into battle, and I need your strongest potions. But, traveler, you cannot handle my potions. No one can. Not even a dragon. No one ha can stand up to my potions. But, potion seller, you do not understand. I'm but a simple knight trying to go into battle, and to do so I need your strongest potions. But, traveler, my strongest potions would kill you. But, potion seller, I need your potions, because without them I cannot be a fairy. Hey guys and gals! 
I'm Pal. And I'm Nova. And after all that, we have been... We're done. We have every collectible in the game, sort of. And take these. Gasp, is that? Could it possibly be? Did you by chance bring me chew jelly? Hmm. Ah. This is an extremely rare color of chew jelly. Perhaps it indicates a new flavor or breed. What a fascinating jelly development. I've never seen one of this particular hue on Popper and Tile. A small atoll famous for its robust chew population. But I got digress, and the game is afoot, for when it comes to making potions, I am a true artist. I have been shown something rare. Inspiration bubbles up from within me. Oh, wait for it. Here it comes. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's the sparkle I was looking for, that sudden burst of inspiration. Eureka. Th I'm going to use this chew jelly to create a brand new, unheard of kind of potion. It's been ten years since I began my now legendary studies of the chew jelly. I must begin mixing this new potion before my very in new inspiration in years vanishes. But, potion seller, I need your strongest potion, and I've traveled the world collecting things for your potion. But you cannot have. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> that video is amazing. In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, look up Potion Seller. And then click on the most nightmarish thumbnail you see. <laughs> it, It's ready at last. My new chew jelly creation. It's still piping hot and it's reached perfection. And I want you to have this first batch, my fellow jelly connoisseur. You got a blue potion! You can set it to stuff and stuff, and you can restore life energy and magic power. It's an elixir soup, but not as good. But you can have as as much as you want of them. la dee doo my next project is to create a gripping advertisement for my new potion. You can come back anytime. Thanks, man. So as I was saying, last time, we, wait, we have six. Oh, sweet. We can actually spend five of them to get a free potion, so that's nice. Last time, what did we do? I've n we, got, we got the last of the Triforce charts. This time, we're going to Tingle Island to get them deciphered. And it will all start as we walk through this door. Let's go! Dun 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 Knuckle! In the flesh. Hey, Mr. Fairy, some outrageous fellow thief threw this fantabulous tingle statue into the sea. It is sad to know that there is one on the sea who does not even know the meaning of beauty. But not you, Mr. Fairy, you are different. Hey, we did that when he wasn't here. Uh, that's creepy. That's creepy. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and go to the top of the, the island because we are here, not for Knuckle, but for Tingle! And his brothers. Nova's here, by the way. She's just quiet. Man, that's creepy. Oh my goodness, that's creepy. They have, like, sharp teeth and stuff. Okay, uh, let's talk to David. David! Dave! Heave ho, heave ho! Okay, I thought they'd give me rupees. Okay, tingle in the flesh. Yeah, Link. I, I must say I've been waiting to see you very badly. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mmm. -hmm. That fragrant, musty scent. Sir, you have found a chart. Splendid, splendid. Show me. Show me. Why? You can't read that chart in its current state. Impossible. Sir. Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 400 rupees? Sure. Tingle, tingle, Kulu Limpa, become readable. You got your chart deciphered, and you were going to do it about seven more times. <sighs> Fast editing away.
Hmm, Mr. Fairy, I have marked lo lo the, uh, the location of the trifle shard on your incredible chart, too. When you open this chart by pressing Y on your C chart, the place where the treasure is will shine forth. Then, just go to that place and rely on your chart to help you find the treasure. That was an ordeal. Goodbye, Mr. Fair. Also, he said he'd call us Link when we were there in person. He did. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come visit me at Tingle Tower again. How wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin. No, just the slave labor uh, of his poor brothers. Yeah, that's not fairies. That's like you're you're beating them with a whip that we can't even see because it's so fast. Thank you. Oh wait, what, how should they say? They should be very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the gift. I know that the tingle statues could, are quite hard to come by. Um, it's not much, but please take it like this. You got a reward for getting the statue. Um, and now you get another reward for getting the statue. And my big brother, like, saved up everything, bro. I don't have anything else because I don't get paid anything. But please, like, come here again because we have no life. All right, now the remainder of the episode is going to be spent jumping off this cliff because we have nothing less left to live for. No, it's going to be spent getting all of these shards. So if we go into our charts, charts, open, open. This will enable all of them to start shining forth onto the overworld. And we're going to be cutting around to those. And then I'm going to be finishing up the episode with something. So. Go to the incredible chart real quick. With that. Uh, incredible chart. How do? Other way. Uh, right there. Yeah, so we can see all of the locations. So we're just going to be warping around to those. Awesome. All right. We're going to be ending at the bottom. Hopefully with Outset itself. So let the cutting once again commence. Now that we've had the best of Tingle, we're here. Great Fish. No, 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 no. Great Fish Island. Oh, it feels so good. The game's ending. We have every single collectible. Okay, it's right there. Um, let's go ahead and switch over. We have every single collectible in the game that I would like to get for 100%. And, yeah, things are fine. Come on, we're right near it. Right. Stop. There. Stop. I think I overshot it. No, I may have overshot this. Nope, okay. Barely you don't have on. to be super exact. Yeah, I think, yeah, you're right. All right, I wonder what could be in here, Nova. Maybe our first glimpse of the shards? You got, like, a Triforce shard? <laughs> you need. It almost looks like cheese. It does. Cheese or... No, really, a cheese is the only thing I can be, that can be used to describe that. In Stone Watcher Island is another one of these cheeses. In Southern Triangle Island, directly to the east, is the next thing. Oh, it's Nairus. Cool. And I kind of looked away. Snap. Uh, charts. Uh, which one is it? I don't... There it is. Okay, number six. So we get interrupted by the sea hat. No. Could you get Tingle here? Please. And blow these mm -hmm. fools up. Stop, stop. Blow them up, please. Ow. Blow them up, please. I can't. What happened? Didn't lock on. Quickly. No. I need help. I need air support. <laughs> I need air support. Not that kind. Nova, you're so bad at Tingle. I'm trying. Help. You're so bad at this. What did you do? Nova, <laughs> blow them up. I'm trying. You're so bad. He wouldn't lock on. Yes, he will. Just no, he press wouldn't. the button. Blow him up. Blow him up. I can't. He will not lock on. Oh, yes, he will. <laughs> I got hit like four times. <laughs> uh, 
I can just see Tingle up there snickering and like drooling and licking his rupees. We got the <laughs> cheese. I'm gonna bail. I'm gonna bail because Nova's bailing on me. Okay. Why did you do this time? He will not Get walk out. onto those sea hats. <laughs> Tingle! Stop blowing me up. Like, you're locked on me. Okay, where are we going? <laughs> Please don't hit me, Mr. Man. Oh, by the way, we're in, um, uh, Gale? Gale Island? Okay. It's the the island of the ga- Nope, stop. In. Seven Star Isles. It's right there. Oh, boy. Tingo won't be able to help me here. Third to last- That's the term, yeah. Third to last one is... Um, not there, okay. It's in- Oh my goodness, I can't navigate these charts because I never do it. Cliff Plateau Isles, right there. Don't hit me, I'm not here for your, your treasure. I'm just here for the cheese that's mine. All right, in 2i Reef, which is A, B, C, D, C, D7, there is a treasure chart, or a, a shard. Right here, here, yeah, here. Nova, please. Oh, oh, nice shot. That was good. That was shot. quite the snipe. Yeah, good job, man. I mean, like, you didn't really hurt me, but good job. Why is it the, such a bad get aim? Is it? Is it programming or is it intentional? Part of it, I think, is the ocean waves changes mm. your position, and okay. they didn't calculate for that. So you think it is bad programming? Some of it. One last one. And you know what? I don't even have to cut to this one. I'm not going to. Because Nova's been hounding me on this because she says I'm an idiot for doing this, but I have always liked ending off the Triforce Shards with the last one being on Outset. Why? Because despite me making fun of this game every single mo waking moment of <laughs> of the LP, I do find a little bit of enjoyment in the story, and I do try to be try to take it into consideration and see it in the context of the developers when I can. So I like ending it off on this, because right next to Ariel's lookout, literally right next to it, it Link's been living near it the whole time is the last shard of the Triforce. And that last shard is basically his destiny. And like I said, he's been next to it his entire life. And that's just cool. As the adventure began with Ariel, so it should end. With the grappling hook. The first item, and the last shard. See? It made it worthwhile. It totally did. Also, I have no clue how long this episode is getting on to, but I assume since we're cutting around so much that it's short. If not, I may have I to... I would guess half an hour. If not, then I'll put it in two parts. But, at last, you found the last shard. Fused together, all eight form the Triforce of Courage. And the cheese unites <laughs> to grow mold. That's creepy how much he can turn his neck around. Well done, Link, with the shards you have collected. The Triforce of Courage is na na sorry. now completed last. We must make for Hyrule, quickly. And there we go. Let's go ahead and warp over there, shall we? That feels good. Like I said, no more cut, no more cutting, no more going random places, none of that, except for the end game. But we're going to talk about that later. For now, we're just going to be going to the end game. That feels good. Feels really stinking good. This LP, I'm not going to say it's caused a lot of heartache, but it it has kind of. I mean, just the recording schedule. I thought it. Nova did hound me to begin the LP from the very start, like, n no joke, she did, and I felt bad about saying, no, we're, I'm gonna do something else, I'm gonna do, like, Mario Galaxy, and so I did this, not thinking about school, and it's kind of 
made me pay a price, but still, it's been a great LP. Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. <laughs> oh no, I dropped it in the ocean. <laughs> also, that thing is tiny. It's like a keychain. Triforce has gotten really bad over the years. Oh, what is this? There on your hand. The Triforce piece now dwells within you. You can clap at any time and your hand will ring because you have a key fob. It is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the wind and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed on you. Surely, from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of Winds. Link, the Hero of Winds, go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda's side. Now, once again, if this episode is long, I apologize, but I just checked the timer, and it's actually not as long as I thought it was going to be. So we're going to end it off with a little bit of excitement. Instead of just cutting everywhere, we're going to end it with a, with, with a reward for all of you who have stayed this long. If it is long. <sighs> Good to be back at last. I wish I could crawl in this water, but I can only satisfy myself with the drowning link. Let's go! I wish you could explore more of the castle. Yeah. That would be nice. Actually, that's coming next episode. That'll be fun. Let's go. Hyrule. Now, this picture makes a lot of sense. That is Tetra's descendant, or not descendant, ancestor, and the ancestors of the pirates. Kind of cool that, they st that the uh, group stuck around as long as it did. When we were little and we first played this game, I thought they were actually the pirate crew and Tetra. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Not taking into account all of the time that's passed. So, this was supposed to be sealing Zelda, or Tetra, in, and now it is not. The hand with the Master Sword on it has fallen by the wayside, and something's clearly gotten in. So let's go see what's up. She probably just got really hungry, because, like, she had water, like I said, but she couldn't eat. So she lost too much weight, and that just made her very angry. People get angry when they lose weight, folks. I'm 115, and I'm angry all the time. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey, Zelda, <laughs> don't mind this mask. I'm not a demon. Oh, but you are. Snap. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> You have deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I have taken your precious Zelda, and here you shall fall into eternal slumber. You mean death? Pretty sure that's called death, Ganon. Not slumber. It's death. It's called death. You know what? I'm not going to explain it. He obviously doesn't know. Dark Nuts! These are of the mighty variety! And I'm gonna see if I can troll and <laughs> do what I do every fight. <laughs> Which is, come on, come on, come on, go. Yeah. Yes! I think it worked, maybe. Okay, let's. Actually, yeah, it has. Worked a little bit. Actually, yeah, it got rid of their cape. <laughs> okay, now. Come on, come on, come on. Or not. Those guys do a ton of damage. Okay. Uh, I have a fairy. And you have a couple potions. Yeah, I have two blue potions. <laughs> he looks ridiculous with the helmet on. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, so they will have capes that prevent you from knocking off their armor from behind. They also have really sick, like, demon beards, because demons have beards and they're sick. They have sick beards. Anyway, uh, and they prevent us from cutting off their capes. Uh, do we indeed... Oh, boy. Uh, do we indeed have a... Yeah, we do. Okay. <laughs> that would have been bad. Have we gotten a game over thus far? No. Are you sure? Oh boy. Okay, I will not take damage. I will not take damage. Um, give it. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> You're just like, give it. <laughs> come on, hit me. Hit me with your beard. <laughs> hit me with your beard. Not with your sword. With your beard. Oh, I've lost my thing. And you are... 
Kaput. Oh. Kaput. You rest in eternal slumber. I don't want to go to bed. I'm not tired at all. Oh. Do you see that? Did... They moved, I think. No, I think it was just the lighting. Okay. Well, even so, that's why I wanted to end the episode off, uh, off on. And all these sick hearts. Sick hearts from people with sick beards. <laughs> and capes. Capes and beards go hand in hand, folks. If you have a cape, you should have a beard. And if you have a beard, you have a cape. And if you have a cape, you should have a sword. <laughs> if you have a sword, you should have, like, a helmet that's twice as big as your body. You know I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much you. for watching. <laughs> Next time in Pal's Play Wind Waker, Nova will be in control. Do I get to do the final episode? Maybe. Oh, snap. I didn't mean to do this. Uh, please don't go through. Length okay, thank you. Next time, we'll be going through that area. There is a seal. Uh, barring the castle from the rest of the Hyrule overworld. But, now that we have the Master Sword... That w seal will be sealing us in no longer. And Nova will be breaking us free of that seal next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. Uh, new episodes of Wind Waker are released every Tuesday and Friday. This game's winding down to a halt. And I'll see you guys. Nova ch Nova's cheering right now. I'll see you guys next time for another PAL plays because Nova never talks. Wind Waker. Say see ya. See ya. She talked! Wow! I'm gonna break pop. Pop.